Hi Fox, welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2K21 and we have our next TGC Tour as well, Cup of Design course. This one is Calamity Bay Golf Club and it's from Matty from Canada. Right, before we start, we'll bring up the groups. Now, as you can see, I've ticked the ones that I've already played and Matty from Canada is in Group D. So this is the first course I've played from Group D. Matty from Canada, Skinny Post, Ryan McConnell and nope, I've played Rich and UFC's course. So there you go, there's the groups. Now let's get rid of that. And let's get into it. Okay, let's have a look at the sends. Okay, feathers are firm, greens are firm, green speed's fast, time of day is dawn, overcast. Now I did have a quick look, as I said before. Sometimes you get dawn and overcast, the courses are pretty dark, but eh, the screenshots now look okay. I jumped in, uh, put in, put up the sky cam and everything looked okay. Okay, one set of tees, green tees, 7,086 yards. Now let's get into it. Okay, so what it says here, my entry into the 2022 World Cup design. Calamity takes inspiration from the many courses along the Monterey Peninsula, Cyprus being the main one. The course weaves its way through, let me just get your sky come up. The course weaves its way through towering dunes and old cypress trees before a dramatic coastal finish stretch. And also 18. Right. So let me just get rid of that cage there. And let's get into it. Have a look around. I do love the, the waste bunker work he's done here. Let's go look at the size of that. Massive waste bunker there, right in the center. Have a look at the plot here. Very nice. Oh, yeah. What do you think of Scotty Scheffler, eh? Wow. Wow. What a four rounds he played. And if I remember, he's not long had his tour card as well, if I remember right. 2019, 2020, I think it was. Very well done. He played really well through all four rounds. Oh, this looks nice. Okay, let's go down towards the coast. You get this nice big pathway. Just sort of down the coastal area here. Looks pretty good. Lovely bunker work as well. Okay, let's have a look over here. Looks like there's going to be some nice views as well. Again, go for that kind of type of really natural looking course. I think most of the courses in the World Cup design have been very, very natural looking courses. And a lot of them have played sort of very natural as well. Yeah, really well done on the bunker work, the waste bunkers. This massive coastal road goes all the way along. Yeah, it goes all the way around there as well. Okay, let's head back up this direction. I'll tell you what though, Augusta. Oh my God, it plays hard this week. Really, really hard. It's, it's really nice to see, see them struggle though. Kind of slim at the Players' Championship <laughs> on the 17th. Yeah, there's quite a few of them went in the war on the 12th. That was, that was good to see. <laughs> A good old Tiger, eh? I mean, I know he didn't play well on the, the today for the final day, but even to just make the cut, what he went through um, over this last year is something amazing. really is. A lot of people didn't think he'd actually play golf again. I mean, he nearly lost his life, nearly lost his bloody leg, for goodness sake. I thought he'd done an absolute cracking job for what he did, for what he's been through. Just to get on uh, on the tee, even to just play in the Masters, especially play all four rounds. Right, this looks really nice. I'm looking forward to this. Okay, let's get into it. Right, here we go. First hole, par four, 460, 460 yards, 77 feet down. The wind's going with us here. 
A yeah, bit of a slope, but a massive fairway, so we should be okay, I think. As you see, even though it does say that it's um, dawn, I think it was, and overcast, the lighting looks absolutely perfect. Okay, right. I think we'll bring that back. Bring that back quite a bit as well. Again, another slow. So we're going to have to speed up. That sort of transition at the top there. But we're on the top part of the green here. I didn't want to be down there to the left there. If I hit too much for slow, it probably would have come all the way back. Right, what have we got? 18 feet, 4 inches up. What are the green speeds? 176 green speeds aren't too bad. Oh. Oh, that's nowhere near. Oh, hold on. Oh, a bit closer than I thought there. I thought that was going to miss by quite a bit. In case you didn't know as well, um, Tiger Woods is actually our creative director now for uh, PGA Tour 2K, whenever we get our new game. Hopefully it's going to be this year. Uh, with, Let me just take the shot. Every game that um, HP Studios have released, it's always been in August, so we're kind of hoping. Even though I'm in the Next Makers program, they haven't even they haven't said anything to any of us about a new game yet. Okay, second hole. What are we? 192, 32 up. So that is playing 202, run about 203. We've got that wind against us as well. I think we shall go with the four iron here. Oh, nice. We get perfect. It's turning quite nice. Is it going to make it up to the top? That'll do. It's not too bad. Right. Not a bad looking little pot either. Yes. Okay. Look at the birdie. Nice one. Oh, I'll tell you what I have finished watching as well. I think I mentioned it in one of my other videos. I've, I'm not, I've never been a huge fan of Formula One, but I was what I even posted on Twitter yesterday. I actually finished all four series, uh, seasons of um, Drive to Survive. What a bloody show that was. Really good. Right, let me just take this. Oh, we've got a whole three, 153 yards. Oh, shit. Pardon my French. <laughs> that, that, that was absolutely terrible. Yeah, Drive to Survive, as I said, never been a huge fan of Formula One, but this show is something else. It was really, really good to watch. Just shows you the ins and outs of the whole sport. All the backstabbing, the egos. Oh, really, really good. Uh oh, come on, slow down. That'll do it. That'll do it. We should be able to pick up the par from that. That's not a bad putt. Yeah, on the last uh, the last season, which was last year, uh, hell of a hell of a race at the end. Uh, Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton. Uh, Max Verstappen beat him, and he became the world champion. So he sort of took the throne away from. Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton had won the past seven years in a row. But I tell you what, wow, what a race that was. And even though I'm from the UK, I didn't want Lewis Hamilton to win. I don't know if I, I think I've told you before, but my missus, she works as a, she's a care worker for vulnerable adults. And where I live, we live right next to a place called Rockingham Speedway. It's actually closed now. And a couple of years ago, uh, one of her, they called them customers. Uh, he, was, he was mad on Formula One and he loved Lewis Hamilton and they were up at the Rockingham Speedway him and a few other drivers and that they were testing things and something like that so my missus thought oh it would be nice to take him up there so she took him up uh, they got right close to the paddock and, uh, and he, as he was walking past apparently the missus was telling me and the, the guy in the wheelchair as I said is vulnerable adult he tried to like get his attention and he just walked right past and one of the stewards actually came up to my, my missus and says I wouldn't bother, love. I says, and he actually said to my missus, 
uh, excuse my French here, he's a bit of a prick. He said, unless there's a camera on him, he's a right arrogant twat, even the way he talks to people. He, he, he just thinks he's something special. So ever since then, I, I just went right off the guy. <laughs> and I was, I was kind of hoping. I, I never actually watched uh, the Formula One. So uh, when I was watching, as I said, it was last year's. So I was actually, I didn't know the results for the last race, but I was actually hoping he'd get beat. And even during um, like some of the seasons, some of the things he was coming out with, like it's like the amount of safety rules and that they've got. It's like some of them didn't apply to him. He, he thought that he'd get away with stuff like that, with certain things. So yeah, a bit of an arsehole. Again, excuse my French. How do you watch what I'm saying? I keep trying to stop swearing. <laughs> no more. Right. That was terrible. Right. Let's concentrate on the golf now. Okay. 62 yards, 20 feet up. So that's playing what? Run about 69. Do, 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 do. Oh dear. Where am I going? Pitch. the back one more that should do it I think oh that's not too bad but yeah if you're in Formula 1 or even if you're not in Formula 1 you should watch it it's on Netflix it's a really really good show right what have we got 18 feet 4 inches down I actually binge watched it in about a week and a half. There was four seasons to it as well. Ten, ten episodes per season. Come on, in you get. There we go. Get the par. Uh, back to Augusta as well. Uh, the Masters. What do you think of Rory McIlroy's final round? Wow. Hey, under. 64. He played really well. It's a pity he couldn't string a couple of rounds together, though. And that pitch from the sand on the 18th, holy hell. And Morikawa as well, he did it as well. Nice to see. Oh, that I should have looked at that fairway a bit more and probably put a bit of a draw on it. Right, what we got? We're in the rough here, 67, 74%. Let's go up one. I'm gonna have to put this way back over here. Well, it's turning quite nice. Has it got the distance though? Go on. Oh, that turned out not too bad actually. Uh oh, hold on. Not quite yet, hasn't. Oh, this might come back off. Slowing down. Leaving quite a tough putt here though. Right. So we've got 34 feet, one foot up. Should start to turn. Oh, it turned just a little bit too much there. So we'll pick up another part. Okay, well, we've got seventh hole, par five, five eighty-eight, nineteen down. Yeah, I wasn't actually going to go. Uh, I wasn't actually going to do a video tonight. I finished watching the Masters uh, since I finished. Um, oh sh crap! Since I finished watching Drive to Survive as well, I didn't really have much to watch. Usually, I binge watch stuff, and so when I finish the seasons and that, I have to look for something else to watch. <laughs> oh, that was absolutely terrible. Now, I don't think that is going to make it over that bunker there, 66 to 73%. So we are going to pull it back and just try and get on the fairway up here. Make sure I don't go too far. That should be okay. Okay, we get the perfect that time. Oh, just that. Not too bad, actually. Had to hit it way over to this right-hand side because some trees on the left there would probably have come into play. Okay, what have we got? 172, four feet up, so it's playing one. 173. Let's bring that back, bring that back just a touch. Ooh, slight slope. Come on, wind. I need you to push it in a bit. 
Oh, it stayed out there. So we're struggling on this one. Need to get this, come on. That'll do it. Looks like we're going to pick up a par though. And you should be getting birdies on these par fives though. But that drive was absolutely terrible. Okay, another par there, so. Eighth hole, par four, five, 13, 34 down. The wind's coming off the left. Ooh, slight faster. Looks like it might be okay. And it is. Nice fairways, I like the fairway sculpting as well. I mean, they're wide enough, they've got plenty of room on them, but you've got these little humps and little slopes on them as well. Okay, 194, two feet up. Oh, slight fast again. 102% as well. Oh, that's going to go a bit of a distance. Not too bad, actually. I did put a bit of loft on it. Oh, tough putt, though. Okay, 32 feet and one inch down. We have to move this right over here. That should be about right, I reckon. Keep turning. Nope. And it's going to be another par. A lot of pars. Okay, let's see if we get a birdie here, try and break that up. Okay, ninth hole, par three, 175, 25 down. Let's play around about 167-ish, I reckon. Yeah, what about that? Let's go down to there. Yeah, it should be okay. Oh, we're slow. It's gonna keep it out to the right. It is going to be on the green though. So we do have a chance at the putt. Again, lovely bulk, uh, bunker work there. Nice scope to on the bunkers. Well, it's not got much of a turn on it. But more than I thought. <laughs> oh, there we go, another par. Too many pars. So one, two, three, four, five pars on the bounce. Okay, tenth oh, onto the back nine. Here we go. Three six, three twenty six, thirteen up. We would driver. Oh, with that wind. Oh, look at this. I reckon we can make that. You know, even if we hit that rough, might bounce down onto the green. Oh, slight fast as well. Come on. I held it in the transition there just for a little bit longer, 103% on it. Go on, go, 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 go. <gasps> oh, yes. That is not bad. That's going to leave us a little chip though. Go, go, go. Oh, so close. And I hit a slow there, so it would have pulled it a little bit to the right. If I hit a perfect tail, that might have dropped. But we do pick up a birdie. That breaks up that big string of pars that we had. Oh, this looks like a tough one. I don't want to go right over the top of here, so I think she'll bring this in from the right. Oh, yes, we hit perfect. Lovely. Go on. Oh, oh, that turned a bit too much. Just a little bit too much. Didn't think it would turn that much. Oh, that was looking good. Go. Oh, just an ounce more weight and I would have had that. Damn it. Okay, on to the 12th. 12th hole, par 4, 502, 29 down. Again, a 
I love the fairway sculpting he's got here. That sort of camber left to right. Well, this fairway all the way down. So I think we're going to aim just a little bit over this left hand side here. Oh, that's a big slow. Did put a little bit of draw on it. Lovely views as well. Right, what have we got? 152, two feet up. Ho oh, ho ho. 52, 130. Nope, gonna have to go there. Light fast. I did put quite a bit of loft on that and I did pull it back a bit. All right, come on, hold the green. Hold it. That'll do it. Come on, bolt. Hurry up. Right. Not a bad looking little putt. A little bit of a double breaker here. Oh, it's going to turn too much. Yep. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop, stop. It's a slope that. Uh-oh. Oh, come on, ball. Oh, I screwed that one right up. So I think we're going to end up with a bogey here. Damn. Oh, when you get this. Oh, what a nice save. Okay, 13th hole, par 3, 152, 42 feet down. So that is playing 138, I make that. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. I think we shall bring it in the right-hand side. Oh, we get the perfect, all depends on distance. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. And let me take a quick screenshot here, because it looks like a quite a nice green to take a screenshot on. Get a nice screenshot for the thumbnail. Right, let's turn putting grid off that. And let's see what we have. Yeah, let's go back this way. Yes, let's have a look. Just to see what we have here. I'll take one there, and I'll probably take one uh, some other pointing around as well. Let's get that back up. There we go. Just to get the putting grid back up. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I've missed so many putts. Just missed them. Oh, Scotty Scheffler as well. Them putts that you missed on the 18th. I mean, the emotions that must have been going through the guy. And just to try and hold that out. I think it was he actually four pied, I think. But yeah, he was so far in front. Oh, this is a tough hole. Oh, look at that way that is turning as well. Got a massive slope right to left on this. The wind's going right to left. Oh, but we hit a peach. Put a little bit of fade on it as well. So hopefully, oh, well, might turn too much. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That'll do it. Not a bad drive, 323. Oh, that's a tough little landing position, though. Uh, landing area. Oof. My goodness. Massive fast again. It's going to hold. It's just held the green, though. Nice one. You're on the green. You've got a chance. Okay, 22 feet.
Nope. Again, too much. Just moving it a little bit too much for the break. Oh, you muppet. Ah, oh, that's a bogey. If I took another second or two on that putt, I would have got the par. Kind of played that as a gimme, and I shouldn't have done. <laughs> right. The wind's against us, so it should hold the ball up a bit. Oh, crap. Another slow. That's going way over to the right. Is it going to hold a fairway, though? I think it might. Just, come on, slow down. That'll do it. it. does leave us a bit more distance though. Complain from way over this right hand side. Okay, come on. Oh, hold on, it's 27 feet up. So I don't think I need any loft on this one. Nice, we get it perfect. I did hit 102% because I thought it might have been just a little bit too much for that club. Oh, yes, that's lovely. So we should pick up the birdie here. Kind of negates that bogey we just had on the last round, or on the last hole. Well, not really. I shouldn't have got the bloody bogey in the first place. <laughs> Go back to minus three. Okay, 16th hole, par five. Right. See if we can do any damage here. Can we get over that? Oof. Nope. Let's have a look. I'm gonna have to come over here. That is tough. That is tough from there. Wow. Might go. Oh, I don't want to play a three wood. I play the driver. Let's just put a little tiny bit of draw on this. Uh, a fade on this. Oh yes. Get a peach. Come on, be good. Be good. Oh, lovely, nice. Just over 340 yards as well. Hopefully we can reach the green too, but that pin looks like it's right behind the bunker. Oof, and it is. Hmm, I don't know whether I'd go for this. Because I think the way the green's sloping, we're gonna end up away down here on the left-hand side. So, I think I want to play over round, round about here somewhere. Yeah, definitely. So let's bring it back to the four hybrid. And we'll just play over here, I reckon. That should do. Yeah, that just looked way too tough to try and get on the green. I think, as I said, I think if I did go on the green, I think it would have been like a way over here somewhere anyway. Right, 86 yards, one foot down. It's not too bad, actually. Let's just put a tiny bit of loft on that. Lovely, good, perfect. Come on, be good. Oh yes, that would be A1. Pick up the birdie. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't go for that now. Okay, 17th hole, par three, quite a lengthy par three. 239, four feet down. I think I am just gonna play pretty conservatively here. Tell you what, let's just let's just bring it in. The right hand side here. Oh, oh, don't turn too much. Don't turn too much. Sugar. <laughs> I should have did what I thought I was going to do at the start. I should have just played for the center of the bloody green. Right. Should be okay. Ah, that'll do. That'll do. Lovely. Nice little tap in the par. Okay, final hole. Par four, 377, 72 up. Okay, you've got a couple of trees in the fairway here. So I wanna 
Maybe stay over to the right hand side a little bit. Oof. That tree might come into play, you know. Oh, hold on. That's the three words. What are you doing? Get up there with the driver. There we go. Mind you, that's uphill. Just try and play it just to the right hand side of the tree here. Go on. Oh, is it far enough over? I think it is. Yep. Absolutely spot on. That's exactly what I wanted it. Okay, 102, 24 up. Um, there you are. Let me just take a... Where am I? There we go. Quick screenshot here. Turn that off. I don't usually take screenshots when I'm on the fairway, actually. But, yeah. Let's have a look. Take a look down the fairway. Kind of get a bit more of the course in. Right, that'll do. Okay, well, we've got 102, 24 up. That is playing about 110. And then you've got that wind against us as well. Right, let's try that. Oh, come on. Not with the slow. Damn it. That's definitely not on a green, don't think. Oh, it is in the green. No, it's not in the green. <laughs> Just spun back off onto the, the fringe there. So I definitely want this over here. I actually got one club. Play it to the top of this sort of ridge. Try and get it just to run down. We should be able to pick up the part. So there you go, guys. That is Matty from Canada's entry into the World Cup of Design, TGC2's World Cup of Design. And that was Calamity Bay. That is a very, very nice course. I tell you what, I think um, if you played that in a lot stronger wind, that would be that'd be a really tough course. Plenty of room on the fairways and all that, but there's some tricky pin positions there as well. But yeah, very, very nice course. Give it a play, guys. Again, thank you for watching. I will catch you again next time. Don't forget, stay safe.